Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about item NBT tags, aka item NBT data that you can add after items to give them different components. The four NBT tags that we're going to be going over today are Keep on Death, Item Lock, Can Place on, and Can Destroy. This video is taking place um, here on Minecraft 1.119 in Bedrock Edition, but I expect it will continue to work afterwards. So without further ado, let's jump right into it here. Um, the NBT tags that we're going to be demonstrating today can be added to a regular command, such as your give command or your replace item command. To start off, we're going to demonstrate it in a impulse command block. You could also run them in the chat, of course. And we're going to start off with a give command. So the first NBT tag that we're going to go over is the keep on death, which basically is the same as your keep inventory game mode. When you're in the keep inventory game mode, um, all the items that are in your inventory have this tag attached to them, but this is useful if you wanted to have just one item stay in your inventory after death. So right here we have a basic give command, so we're giving at P a diamond sword, and we're giving one sword with the item data of zero, and then this is where the NPT data sort of starts to come in here. So we're going to open up a set of squiggly brackets, and then we're going to open up a set of quotation marks, and we're going to write keep underscore on underscore death inside those quotation marks. We're going to give ourselves a colon. We're going to open up another set of squiggly brackets which we're going to put nothing inside of because there is no mode to this particular data. And then we're going to close those squiggly brackets. And then you can see when I give myself a sword and you look down here on the bottom of the screen it says diamond sword this item is not lost on death. So if I was to die, I would not lose this and it would stay in my inventory even though all the other items in my inventory would be lost. This is great for prizes and all kinds of things I'm sure you can imagine. Now the next two examples here are both under the NBT tag item lock. And item lock is basically used to keep items inside your inventory or even in one specific spot inside your inventory. And we're going to be switching over to using a replace, replace item command um, instead to demonstrate these particular ones. If you were going to use the lock in slot uh, with a give command, then it would lock randomly wherever it lands inside of that person's inventory. So I'd recommend using the lock in slot rather with the replace item command than the give command. So anyways, we're going to start off with the lock in inventory. And what this does is it prevents a player from dropping the item, from crafting the item, or from otherwise removing the item. So we're doing a normal replace item command here. We're doing replace item entity at P. So we're choosing the closest player, and we're doing slot.inventory zero and what that is is the very first slot inside of my regular inventory and I'm giving you a piece of bedrock the amount is one the item data is zero and then the NBT data starts now we're gonna open up a set of squiggly brackets and we're gonna open a set of quotation marks and then this one's called item lock and then we're gonna open a colon with some squiggly brackets and inside of that we're gonna write the word mode in quotation marks we're going to put a colon, and then this is the mode name here, which is inside of quotation marks, lock underscore in underscore inventory. So item lock, lock in inventory. And what this one does is it allows me to move the item around my inventory, but I can't drop it or anything like that. So you're going to see that when I open up my inventory here, I have a little yellow triangle in the corner of my picture and it added this NBT data. Can't drop items, can't be dropped, removed, or crafted with, but you can see I can move it around in my inventory here. So we're gonna toss that in the hot bar for now. And then this one here is the lock in slot, which runs pretty much exactly the same. It's the exact same replace entity command. We're still using bedrock, but this time our mode is lock underscore in underscore slot. And then we're going to press this here, and now you can see that I have a red triangle in there, which means that I can't move it. And can't move items, can't be moved, dropped, removed, or crafted with was added to my data there. And now you can see, even though I'm in creative mode, I can't get that out of there. I can't do anything with it at all. It's pretty much a useless item to me, but this is a useful command because you can use it to add items to players, such as the kill counter video that we have, which I could throw a link up to, is using this particular 
replace item command. The next two uh, NVT data are both only apply to adventure mode and it is can destroy and can place on. So we'll start off here with can place on and this would be used for blocks rather than items and then here we're going to do replace item command as we've been doing the same thing we're going to go in inventory slot zero this time we're going to use cobblestone as an example and I gave you one cobblestone with the item ID of zero and then we're going to go ahead and put this NBT data in there inside of squiggly brackets and inside of our quotation marks this time we're using ken underscore place underscore on then we're going to open up a colon with some more squiggly brackets and we're going to open up some quotations we're going to write the word blocks inside of that and we're going to go ahead and put a colon space and they're going to open up square brackets and then this is where you would choose what type of blocks the block places on so in this example I am giving you cobblestone that only is going to be able to be placed on glass or stone bricks. It won't be able to be placed anywhere else. And the way that you do that there is you just continue to list different blocks here. So if I also wanted this to be able to be placed on something else, you know, if I wanted to write frog light here, I could just go ahead and write frog light in quotation marks after that comma, and I can list as many as I would like to. Then I'm going to go ahead and close our square bracket and our two squiggly brackets. I'm going to press this button here and it's going to give me a piece of cobblestone here that can be placed on stone bricks and it can be placed on glass. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into adventure mode so we can test that out here. So we're going to go game mode A for adventure mode and now you can see that I am over here in adventure mode and I can't place this block anywhere. I'm trying to place it all over these frog lights and nothing's happening. And then we go ahead and try to place it on this plank. Still nothing's happening. But we coded it to be able to be placed on glass if we wanted to. So now we've got it placed on glass. But oh I'm in adventure mode and I can't break that. So let's go ahead and throw ourselves back into creative mode. And we're going to demonstrate the next NBT data which is can destroy. So can destroy is the same exact thing here. We're doing a replace item command. And we're going to give ourselves a iron pickaxe this time with the amount of 1 and the data of 0. And then we're going to go ahead and open up our squiggly brackets for our MBT data here. And inside of our quotation marks, we're going to write can underscore destroy. Then we're going to open up that same thing as we've done the last few times. We're going to get ourselves over into that blocks component. And then this time, instead of deciding what you're placing on, you're deciding what you can destroy with this item. So I have our iron pickaxe being able to destroy grass, planks, and cobblestone. It will not be able to destroy anything else. And again, this only applies to adventure mode. So we're going to press that button there, and we have ourselves a iron pickaxe, which you can see we can break grass, cobblestone, and oak planks, it says. So if we're going to go ahead and put ourselves back into adventure mode here for a second, game mode A, and then we're going to try and break some random stuff here. You know, I can't break any of this stuff like normal. We can't break these here stone bricks. We can break this here special piece of cobblestone that we were given earlier. And now you can see it's turned back into a normal piece of cobblestone. So you're going to notice that these break or these um, NBT data only really apply when you give them to players with commands. Once you take them out of the inventory, they lose their components. So anyways, um, we're going to get back into first person view here and we're going to go ahead and try and break some blocks here. We said we were able to break glass as well, or we were not able to break glass, but we were able to break grass. And you could think that's kind of funny. Oh, I can't break glass, but I can break grass. So it's kind of fun what you can do with these can destroy and can place on for game modes and adventure. So now the final thing I would like to demonstrate for you guys here is we'll jump back into creative mode is if you would like to list multiple NBT data components within one item. So let's say you wanted to have an item here that can destroy certain things when it's in adventure mode, but if that player dies, you want them to be able to keep that item as well. So what we have here is a regular you know, replace NTD command like we've been doing. We're giving you that same iron pickaxe, and then we're opening up those squiggly brackets for our first piece of NBT data. And we're doing that exact same thing with can destroy, and we're selecting the blocks that it can destroy. We're doing grass, planks, and cobblestone. And then instead of closing out all our brackets, we're going to remove one bracket. We're going to do just one square, one squiggly, and we're going to put a comma. And then we're going to just write our next piece of NBT, NBT data you know, separated by commas. You would just continue on as many as you would like to add. 
So the next one we're going to add here is keep on death inside of quotations, and then we're going to go ahead and, you know, add our blank brackets because that doesn't have a mode, and we're going to finalize all that with one squiggly bracket. And now we've successfully added two pieces of NBT data to one item, so you can see now this is not lost on death, and it also can break those different, um, you know, planks, cobblestone, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you wanted to do the same kind of thing where you, for example, we're going to go ahead and give them a item that is able to destroy certain things, um, but you didn't want them to be able to take it out of their inventory, um, this would be another way to do that. It's the same thing. We're just listing a couple pieces of NBT data in a row, and we're doing the can destroy and then the lock in inventory. And then we'll go ahead and give ourselves that. And now you can see I have a stick with the yellow triangle because I can't get them out of my inventory. And it can't be dropped, removed, or crafted with. And it can break cobblestone, glass, and oak planks. So you can see that I'm able to... Well, actually, I was in creative mode, but I would have been able to break that plank had I been in adventure mode. So anyways, if you guys found this video helpful here, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel Arctic Shark Games here on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch as well. I'm pushing towards 500 subscribers right now, and I would really appreciate your support. If you guys are having a little bit of trouble with the NBT tags for items or any other Bedrock-related commands, feel free to jump in the Shark Commander's Discord, which I will throw a link down in the description as well as in the comments. Well, thank you very much, everyone, and keep commanding.